Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. In this series, The Savage Kane, we're going to look at a quick way to give your attacker a nice uppercut with your cane. Give me a hand, it's going to be Mr. Bob. And I'm going to swap out to a couple different canes so you can see what we're going to do. I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a cane that has a crook, the derby style, and then when you got one that happens to have the crook with a palm rest. Let's go ahead and use the crook and palm rest first. So I'll be using the shadow hawk on this one. As the attacker starts to grab you, he's going to punch you with that hand. What I did was I brought my cane up, stepped a little bit toward his backside, two hand grabbing, catching that elbow area, bringing that up. Now what this right here is doing, besides hopefully injuring this arm some, it's not making it impossible, but a little bit more difficult for that person to hit you with that hand. So once I do that, then I'm going to give him an uppercut by shifting, turning, and catching him with the crook right outside the jaw. Again, he grabs, I turn, pop, turn, and give him that uppercut, catching him with the crook. Now, when I have a palm rest, and like with the shadow hawk, I had this design, more of a chisel for these techniques, and understand, Savage King series is about, I don't have an option. They're trying to hurt me. I'm going to do what I got to do. So he grabs, same thing. I popped it up, and this time I did a little rotation and caught him with the palm rest right into the jaw. Again, he here comes up, popped him up, shifted a little bit. I'll show that rotation better close up. Come on up here. So you know, when he grabs, I'm popping this upward. So I'm going to his backside and then I'm shifting and bringing it around. Now from the front, we can get a little closer so you can see the shifting of this. As I pop it up, here's the crook. I give him that uppercut motion, catching him with the crook, which will drive him back. To rotate it, to use the palm rest, I pop it up. This time, I simply shift it, rotate, and catch it. Now, what I'm doing, let me back up so you can see how I rotate this. As I pop it up, notice where the crook is. Now, I'm going to step here so you can see this. Instead of going like this, now I rotate it and catch here. So, that's hitting with the crook. Remember, I turned around, I popped it up, and I hit. Pop it up. Now I rotate, and I hit with the palm rest. So what I did was, as I popped it up, this hand is going to rotate, and this hand is going to just kind of relax its grip a bit. So pop and hit. Simply turn like you're revving a motorcycle, same concept, turn and strike. So from here, let me back up a little bit, pop, crook, pop, non-crook, hitting them with the palm rest. Slow that down, pop it up, uppercut, crook, pop it up, shift, uppercut with the palm rest. Now we're going to go to, if you don't have a crook, and you have a derby style, like the gray man, same thing, he grabs, I pop it up, same exact thing, turn, give him that uppercut, catching him. He grabs, pop it up, two hands holding that, that arm is over this side, give him that uppercut, catching him with the bigger end of the handle. I want to catch him with the more pointy end. Same thing as the last time. Pop it up, rotate, and catch him with the more sharper edge. So I pop it up, catch him with that end of the derby style handle. <clears throat> pop it up, shift and rotate, and catch him with that end of the derby style handle. So it's not going to matter 
what kind of cane you have, you are literally just smacking them. If you have a regular cane, even just a training cane, let's get a hold of me. Same thing. I popped it up, I shifted, there's that uppercut, bam, right into the jawline. Grab it again. Now, I can even rotate it and catch him with that end if I don't want to catch him with this end. Let's say I have one that's very small. And if it's a ball weight, you're still going to catch him with that ball weight. So from here, pop it up, right in, bam. Thank you, sir. So work these techniques. As I always say, practice them. Make sure you rotate it and give them that nice uppercut with your cane. So practice them. As I always say, make them yours. Gary is, thank you, and I will see you in the Savage Cane world very soon.